What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Big Norm. Appreciate all the love and support uh, y'all been giving. I'm coming at y'all a little bit different. Um, just want to share with everyone um, my experience with ride sharing, Lyft, Uber. Okay, I've been doing this for about um, a few weeks now, maybe close to a month, like something like that. I uh, started off with Uber. Actual drive, my very first ride share drive was with Uber. And since then, I go back and forth between Lyft and Uber. Um, been doing a lot more Lyft lately than Uber. Um, it has been uh, pretty nice. You know, I can, really can't complain. You know, I just I, I work early in the morning, get off at 1. Then I do uh, some um, driving for a few hours during the day. Uh, after I get off work, shut it down. After a certain time, go home, get rest, start the whole process over the next day. Um, one thing about it, uh, now I live right outside of Atlanta, um, suburb of Atlanta, about 50 miles outside of Atlanta. I can go, of course, go into town, but I try to stay locally, um, use my own vehicle, um, try not to put as many miles uh, if I don't have to, but I would like to get a rent, maybe a vehicle, but just the cost of it with the insurance and with the maintenance, it'll just be better off to keep that money with my personal vehicle. Um, it's been nice. Uh, I had, uh, thank God that I haven't had any weird uh, customers. Now, one thing about it, um, I don't do any driving at night. Um, I, too dangerous for me. Too many things I feel can go wrong. And I'm thankful for those who do drive at night are being safe and you haven't had any incidents, hopefully. Um, but I did make, you know, of course, made, you know, being new, made a few mistakes. I, I'm not a big um, uh, Uber pool or Lyft pool, whatever you want to, uh, what do you want to call that. I have done a few of them um, because I was still learning. So, you know, those, you know, that learning curve. But I um, uh, did a few rides. I uh, have a uh, five-star rating with both Lyft and Uber. Um, I have a, uh, I'm not actually not this vehicle that you see me in now. I have a, a larger vehicle. Um, but uh, it's pretty nice. Now, if you are a person who is not big on spending a considerable amount of time in vehicle as far as driving, you're not a driver, then you may want to reconsider this line of work. But for what I do, I set um, I set a daily goal, uh, dollar amount. I hit the dollar amount, and then I'm done for the day. I have a full time job, so I can't go out and drive uh, full time like many of you all. Um, so uh, I'm quote unquote uh, limited, but I make the most of it. Uh, Lyft offer both of them offer good deals uh, as far as consecutive rides, as far as getting extra money. Of course, you know, you have your inner city rides, you have your peak hour rides, you have your airport rides, you have your special event rides. So um, that's uh, pretty cool. Um, now, one thing about it, like I said, I don't drive at night. Um, I don't uh, allow any smoking of any kind, cigars, cigarettes, black and miles, vapes, none of that stuff in my vehicle. Uh, no alcoholic consumption in my vehicle, uh, a soda, um, uh, water, something like that, that is fine. I'm not big on really eating while I'm driving, uh, but, you know, I have allowed it. Um, the whole thing is uh, about being nice um, to people, you know, because you never know what they can. Uh, they're having a bad day. Um, do Uber pool, the only thing I don't like about it, well, two things, because you don't get paid as much uh, as opposed to a single ride. And two, when you do the pooling part of it, you're getting multiple people in your car and you don't know if these people are going to get along in your car while you're driving them because you're look you're literally picking up multiple random strangers at the same time and so you're dropping off so you hope that you know no incidents happen you know no one gets mad because they uh, got their shoe scuffed or someone's taking too much elbow room things like that but it has been pretty good. Um, like I said, you all know how to really maximize the most money uh, for ride sharing. Uh, and like I said, it is nice. Uh, just do it for a few hours a day. Uh, do a, Try to do at least maybe five days a week. I set my uh, 
daily goal, which isn't very much, but enough to um, get me to do what I need, get me what I need, because um, I'm only doing it really, you know, just to get some extra cash, you know, you know, especially it works out um, when you are in between paychecks or you need some extra cash, something, some emergency man came up, it's a good way to get it, um, get that extra cash, have it for you, cash out the same day once you're done, so you have your money immediately, you set aside your taxes, money for your taxes at the end of the year, but ride sharing is cool, uh, and um, I'll be doing this, like I said, I've been doing Lyft a little bit more than Uber, I don't know really what gravitated more towards Lyft and Uber, but uh, I've been doing that um, as far as, like I said, nighttime driving, I don't, I haven't driven enough to get that lamp from, uh, uh, Lyft and I don't have anything that will light up for, I mean, for Uber and given the situation that just happened recently with the young girl in South Carolina who was, uh, drunk and got into the wrong car, wrong car and was murdered because her friends, uh, called her Uber or Lyft. Um, I don't do any nighttime driving mainly for that reason because i have no way to let people know hey this is a lyft driver this is an uber driver and it's this in this day and age people are very very trigger happy and will easily say hey i thought someone was trying to break in i didn't know who they were I, my life i felt my life was in danger i felt threatened so i don't do any time any time of any type of nighttime driving or nighttime driving uh you know so it's been good uh, but it's, this is definitely something, you, you know, for me, it's going to be temporary. This is not a full-time thing for me, um, but it has been cool. And uh, I do uh, like the opportunity of driving. I don't mind driving. Uh, it does get tired, but I don't mind driving. And I thank God I'm able to, for the most part, drive locally. Uh, I've only had two airport incidents, uh, drives. I took some, someone f uh, who, uh, who picked up someone heading to the airport. And then as soon as I dropped her off, I had an airport ride and I took him to his destination. Both were very good rides uh, as far as distance and money. So I just truly um, am thankful for the opportunity. But um, for those who uh, are have been doing this for a long time, you all know the ins and outs. Some of the things I learned the hard way and did not realize some of the things until after I started watching videos like this, the do's and don'ts of ride sharing, Lyft, Uber, what to do, what to do, how to get out of this, how to do this, the whole nine. Um, haven't had any bad uh, customers, thank God. Nobody uh, unruly, uh, rude. Uh, I've had one person uh, who smelled like alcohol, um, but he was coherent. And I had another person who smelled like weed, but they were also too were coherent and were able to uh, give me the address uh, to the destination. One guy put in one destination and kind of find out it was the opposite direction where he wanted to go. So I took him to where he wanted to go, but I made sure I took him, also went back to the destination he put in to get paid. Um, so, you know, it's it's got, its, it's got its quirks. It's got its pros and cons. But for the most part, I like ride sharing, and I'm going to keep on doing this for a little bit longer, you know, until something else comes up or, you know. But I uh, just wanted to share this video. I uh, appreciate everybody, uh, all your support. Uh, just hit the like button, subscribe, tell a friend about this channel, and maybe I might do some more ride sharing videos. I do not know, okay? But I just wanted to let you know that, so I appreciate all the love. It's your boy, Big Norm. I'll see you when I see you. Yeah.